Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we solve your everyday tech troubles. If you're watching this, chances are you're dealing with a frontier internet connection issue. In this video, I'm breaking down a step-by-step -step guide to troubleshoot your internet connection. Whether you're dealing with a Frontier FCA, 252 router, or another model, these solutions should work for most setups. Grab your router modem and let's dive in. Alright, let's start with the basics. Power cycling your router and modem. Think of it like restarting your phone or computer. It just gives everything a fresh start. First things first, find your modem and router. They're those boxes with blinking lights, usually tucked away in a corner. Unplug both the modem and router from the wall outlet. While they're unplugged, let's give them a moment of silence, at least a full minute. This allows the internal components to discharge any residual power and ensures a clean reboot. After the short break, plug the modem back in first, let it boot up completely, which usually means waiting for all those little lights to stop blinking. Once it's settled, plug in your router. Give the router another few minutes to power up and connect to the network. Now, try browsing the web. If everything's working, congrats. If not, don't worry, we've got more tricks up our sleeve. So, the power cycle didn't quite do the trick. That's okay, we're just getting started. Sometimes the issue isn't on your end at all. It could be a problem with Frontier itself. Before we dive into more troubleshooting, let's check if there's a service outage in your area. Grab your phone or another device that's connected to a different Wi-Fi network or has cellular data. Head over to Frontier's official website. You're looking for their network status or service outage page. Enter the details and with any luck you'll get a clear message about outages in your area. If they're experiencing problems, all you can really do is wait it out. And if the status page shows everything is hunky-dory in your area, then we know it's time to roll up our sleeves and keep troubleshooting. Still stuck in internet limbo, frustrated with those endless buffering circles or dropped video calls, it's time to channel your inner detective and play a little game of check the connections. This simple step can often save you hours of frustration. This step might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how often loose or faulty cables are the culprits behind internet troubles. A quick check can make all the difference. First, let's focus on the modem. This little device is the heart of your internet connection. Make sure the power cable is firmly seated in both the modem and the wall outlet. No wiggle room allowed. A loose power connection can cause intermittent issues. Next. Inspect the coaxial cable connecting your modem to the wall jack if you have a cable internet connection. This cable is crucial for a stable connection. Make sure it's screwed in tight on both ends. Even a slight looseness can disrupt your internet. For those rocking a DSL connection, verify that the phone line is securely plugged into your modem's DSL port. This ensures a steady flow of data. Now move on to the router. This device distributes the internet throughout your home. Check the Ethernet cable running from the modem to the router's one or internet port. This connection is vital for your network. Again, ensure it's snug on both ends. A secure connection here can prevent many common issues. Once you've confirmed everything is plugged in tight, let's reboot all the connected devices. This can refresh the system and clear any temporary glitches. A quick restart can clear those hiccups and get you back online. Sometimes all it takes is a little patience and a few simple steps to restore your connection. Alright, if you've made it this far and you're still battling the dreaded no internet message, it's time to step up our troubleshooting game. We're going to dive deeper into the heart of your home network. We're going to venture into the router settings, the control panel of your home network. This is where all the magic happens and where we can potentially fix the issue. To access these settings, you'll need a web browser. It's a simple tool, but incredibly powerful for what we need to do. This could be on your phone, tablet or computer. Anything that can connect to the Wi-Fi will work. Just make sure the device is connected to your network. Now fire up the browser and type in your router's IP address into the address bar. 
This is like the key to the door of your network's control room. It's usually a string of numbers like 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. These numbers are unique to your router. Don't know your router's IP address? No worries that there are a couple of ways to find it. It's easier than you might think. First, check the back or bottom of your router. It's often printed on a sticker along with the default login credentials. This is the most straightforward method. If you can't find it there, head over to your computer's network settings. This method is a bit more technical, but still very doable. Look for the default gateway. That's your router's IP address. It's usually listed right there in the network settings. Once you've got the address, type it into the browser and hit enter. This will take you to the login page of your router. You'll be prompted for a username and password. These are usually set to default values unless you've changed them. Now. A word of caution router settings can vary depending on the brand and model. Each router has its own unique interface and options. We're mainly looking for any error messages, connection status indicators or troubleshooting options. These can give us clues about what might be going wrong. OK, we've exhausted our troubleshooting arsenal and you're still stuck in internet purgatory. It's frustrating, we know. But don't worry, there's still hope. It's time to call in the Big Guns Frontier Customer Support. They're there to help you get back online. Before you pick up the phone, make sure you have your account information handy. This will save you time and make the process smoother. This includes your account number, billing phone number, and any other details Frontier might ask for to verify your identity. Having these ready will speed things up. Once you're armed with your information, give Frontier a call. Their support team is trained to handle a variety of issues. I'll put their support number in the description below so you don't have to go hunting for it. This will make it easier for you to reach out. Be prepared to describe the issue in detail. The more specific you are, the better they can assist you. What have you already tried? Make a list of the steps you've taken so far. What error messages are you seeing? Note down any specific codes or messages. The more information you can provide, the better equipped the support agent will be to assist you. Detailed information helps them diagnose the problem faster if they detect an issue on their end. They'll escalate it to their technical team and provide you with an estimated time for resolution. This can give you peace of mind. If the line test comes back clean, the support agent might walk you through some additional troubleshooting steps or even schedule a technician visit. They're committed to resolving your issue. All right, folks, let's quickly recap one, power cycle your router or modem. Two, check for service outages in your area. Three, verify all physical connections and restart your devices. Four, dive into the router settings to look for errors. Five, contact Frontier Support if all else fails. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Stay connected, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video.